What's up guys? We're over here at a, another little lake. Gonna show you guys how to catch some pressured trout. Gonna kinda show you a few fish out of this. This thing gets pounded on the weekend. And as soon as I catch a few, I'll give you guys a few tips on how to try out your pressured pond or any sort of pond. Hopefully give you guys the edge on that. So, let's see what we can do. Alright guys, I'm going to try a little renegade fly. I'm going to show you this. Right behind the bubble. Give this a go. This is one of my go-tos up here. So, let's see what it does. One reason why I like a fly. Maybe. It always hooks them right close. Makes it really easy to unbuckle them. He's ready to rock. Stock trout. right in the beak. Not too bad. Well guys, it's starting to rain a little bit. Um, we are trying our luck down a little bit farther down the lake. Gonna see what's going on. I've been having luck with this fly in a bubble. That's one of my first go-tos on a lake that's been pressured because most of these pressured trout, they're wanting something that they've never seen before. They're wanting something new, something different. 90% of people who fish a pond like this are fishing power bait or fishing worms. And sometimes worms are really good though still. It all kind of just depends. But it's been, been a pretty good day. It's kind of been sprinkling here and there. But I'm going to show you. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me zoom in. That brown thing coming up, sticking up right there, that's a log under the water. When you're fishing, just like you're fishing for bass, pick out spots where they can hide, babe. Fish are naturally needing cover, so... I'm gonna cast right over there and see what happens. Perfect. Okay guys, I'm going to give you guys a few of these tackle tips of how to um, catch some of these pressured trout. This pond that I was fishing today is, usually gets hit hard every weekend throughout the summer. It's one that's super hard to fish, it really is. I'm going to suggest these clear bobbers. If you look, you can press right there and the middle comes out. That allows you to fill that full of water you can push that back in and it'll hold all the water. Not only will that give you weight to cast out, but that's also going to let it fall and just get to the seaweed and it won't sink in the seaweed like a weight would. A weight will really sink. Another thing, 
if you don't want to use bait behind this, you, like a lot of people use power bait, so I'd suggest something more natural like worms. A lot of people use worms too, but it's more natural. Um, you de definitely, I suggest putting a fly behind this. It would really help. I put it behind it four to six feet. It's really, really well. A leader, um, the smaller the line on these pressured fish, the better. These fish are used to seeing line, they're used to being trying to be caught. So you gotta kinda trick them. Another thing, throw something random. Don't, if you don't wanna use any of this, throw something random like this Helgramite here. This is a Helgramite and it's really, really random. Look at this, it has an orange head. I guarantee you nobody's ever seen this before. None of these fish have. Um, these Jake's spinner lures, any sort of lure is really good, but these Jake's are way good. They're one of my favorites. These crocodiles, they're really good too. Sometimes a spinner, like a panther martin or anything like that's really good. Most people, they're going to be wanting to throw bait. They're not going to be wanting to um, try and mess with, with trying to cast this and reel it back in. Another thing to try make, that might work really well for you guys is try floating some salmon eggs and or try sinking some salmon eggs or just try all kinds of different things until you figure out a way that you're starting to get bites and then try to remember how to copycat that. And then, then you should be ready to rock. You should be able to hit the, hit the water and do good. I hope these tips have helped you and give you the edge. See you guys on the next show.